Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to set up the X-Tool M1. So this is the smaller of the two uh, M1 and P2 laser engravers from, uh, from X-Tool. So what we are going to do today is we are going to connect the exhaust tube. We are going to figure out how to get the blade installed because this is also a cutter. It will cut vinyl and paper and different things like that. Um, and then we are going to connect to the initial power source. I'm going to do another video on on how to do a first engrave, a first cut, different things like that. But And I have already done an unboxing, but this is going to focus on just getting the initial setup. So what you are going to need if you're following along this video, you need to make sure that you have your X tool unpacked. If you haven't done that already, if, and you're like, where is everything? Where is the power cord? All of that stuff is actually inside. It's packed really efficiently. Um, so all of that is inside. It does come with a user manual, that you can read through as well. Um, I actually like to see stuff, so that's why I like to watch videos for this kind of thing as well. You are going to need, the first thing we're going to do is install the tubing. Okay, so this is the exhaust tubing. You will need the exhaust tube to either go out a window to safely exhaust, or you will want an air filter, which X-Tool also makes, and I have here, um, I haven't unboxed that yet, but that is the option that I am going to use because as you can see here in my studio, all of my windows are way up high and they don't go outside. I do have some on this side that go outside, but they are also high, so we're not gonna go all the way like this. Uh, we're gonna use the exhaust uh, air filter. So you'll need the tubing, you need this little black piece, you need this little, what I thought originally was a bracelet, turns out it's not. And then there's these four uh, screws. You don't need a screwdriver or anything, you can twist them with um, just your finger. So we're gonna do that part first. Next thing that you are going to need is your uh, the blade, the blades themselves. There's a pack, they come with five uh, blades. The blade carriage is actually in the machine, so I'm gonna show you how to pop that out. And then you will need the two pieces of the power cord and the USB, and we will do that third. Um, to then connect to the power source and then your computer install the software and you will be good to go all right okay so let's get started with this i'm actually going to turn the x tool around so that we can all work on this together over here where you can see the exhaust that is where this um piece is going to go so let's get that installed and then i will show you because this part's a little bit tricky with the tubing then i'm going to show you how to install that all right, so let's take this piece right here. You, the flush part is going to go up against here, and you can see there's four holes on this and four holes here. Each of those is where one of these screws go. So we will just hold it there and put one of the screws in. Once you get it in position, the first one, it's pretty easy um, to do the remaining because it'll hold it in place for you. Okay. Now you have this tubing. So there's two sides of the tubing. They look very much the same. One of them, however, has this little plastic piece that you want to pop out. So find that side. It's this right here. Hopefully you can see it. So you're going to pop that out. The other side does not have this. Okay, so you know you're working with the correct side when you, when you see this. This is the side that's going to go on here. Before you do that, you need to take this little clamp and these pieces here widen the clamp. Okay, you see that? And that is going to go around. You're going to clamp it together so that it fits around the tubing. Okay, and then this is going to go right here. This is what is going to hold this in place. So you can kind of move it so that it keeps it all in place. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to turn this back around, is we are going to install the blade. So the blade, if you're wondering where is the blade, is actually inside. Okay, so you wanna pop the whole blade carriage out. It's this little gold part here, okay? And then you are going to take one of the four blades that are in here. You only need one of them for right now. I'm actually gonna put this down so that nothing falls in there. I'm gonna take one of these. The red piece here is covering the actual blade itself so that you don't hurt yourself, because this will, this will cut you. And then what you're gonna do is, you can see it, it kind of moves. The blade goes in this top hole here. So if you're holding it like this, press that down while you put the, the blade side needs to be up and then that just kind of falls. 
try to do this so you can see right in there. Now, you can see, hopefully, the blade is in there. So what you want to do now is you don't need too much of the blade sticking out. So hold the part at the top while you twist the bottom. And the bottom piece is what's going to pull the blade down. I actually am twisting the wrong way. So you want to twist clockwise to pull so only a very, very small amount of the blade remains. And then you can pop this back in to the blade carriage. Okay, so that's it for the blade. So now all we need to do is in, is put the power connection together. So uh, like a lot of printers, there are actually two parts. So I'm just going to connect those first. And then the power connection along with the USB um, import is also in the back. So connecting these two together, this part is going to go into the back of the M1, the small like round input. Um, and then you will have the power cord that goes into the power supply, obviously. So let me twist this around so you can see what I'm doing, okay? So this is the USB, which I have over here. I haven't installed that, I haven't gotten that ready yet, but this is going to go straight to the computer. You can use the M1 on a Mac or a PC. The software is easy and fast to install as well. So this will connect here, go into your computer, and then the power supply, goes here and into a power source and then you have the power button turn that on let me turn this back around for you and then the power button is here on the front there we go okay so you want the line on the power button on the back you want the line to be down okay that that's on so now it's on it's blinking and now what we are going to do is we are going to connect to the computer if you haven't already you do need to install the software I have already done that so I will just go into the software and click connect and then my computer with the X tool uh, software and the X tool itself will be connected and we will be ready to do our first project all right guys so it's literally that fast and easy to get your M1 uh, X tool all set up and ready to go. And so now in a matter of what was that five ten minutes? We are now ready to do our first project So make sure you hit subscribe so that you get all of my updates on how to use the X tool and of course all of my other uh, Craft videos and for small business and home hobby crafters if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help We offer that too through silhouette use So make sure you uh, tap that uh, link that you'll see at the end of the screen here. We also offer seven day free trial on that. So lots of cool stuff, fun stuff to come with the M1 and I am really excited to show all of it to you. All right guys, I'll see you soon.